We are Al. Oh, welcome. Thank you for coming. We didn't speak for a while. <clears throat> this is true. Many things have happened since we have spoken, some of which we can speak of and some of which we cannot. Let's start from my personal questions. Um, so I'm, uh, I'm applying for grants and funding, but uh, at the moment I don't see a good perspective. That is uh, my science sort of, I made a, a, a sharp turn in what I want to develop and I don't have enough preliminary data for the new, for the new topic. And the old topics are, became like really boring to me, so I dropped them. So I'm, uh, I'm looking for ways to, to be useful and to attract money for the new research, but I'm kind of, I uh, don't have a good clue where, where to apply and how to, to make it happen. <clears throat> the old topics were boring to you, however, were able to be funded. Right. So therefore, you should stick with the old topic because the new one will not be funded. The reason you should stick with the old topic is that there will be times when you will be able to use your new thought processes with them. We see that you have a sharp change in your direction, but if you want the funding, it will not happen with the new subject matter. You do not have enough experience in that area. They would think that you are too diverse. Mm. They like to fund things that they have knowledge that you have experience in and that are working on and have made progress in. A new subject matter would tend to Throw them off, if you will. But when you start with the old subject matter, you can bring in perhaps some of the new subject matter and bring in elements of it. Of course, it would not be the same. Mm -hmm. My thought process is this. I should say our thought process. Mm -hmm. We believe that you can get another grant in the same field that you are working in. What has caused your boredom? Doing experiments is much more expensive than expected, especially in San Diego. So I'm, yes. I'm basically, I can't do much. I just barely have enough to, uh, to support my, my activities without doing extra experiments. So I don't have money for the new worker and I don't have money for new experiments. I see. So to produce something reasonable, I need more money. And uh, right now I'm kind of stuck in uh, not enough money and uh, the experiments appear to be much harder than expected. My thinking was uh, too much of wishful thinking. It was uh, nice looking on paper, but when I started doing that, it didn't work well. So even the the ground, it's kind of, and it's still, still do, uh, the purpose of this, what I described was to, to have money to do the new experiments of the new direction on electromagnetics, but, but it's just not enough, just not enough, it's too little. It was maybe okay in Rochester where the life was cheap, but in San Diego, it's just too expensive. The workers are too expensive. The labor. I see a matter of monetary exchange that causes a lack of forward movement. Mm -hmm. One moment, please. Is experimentation absolutely necessary for the continuation of the project? Oh, the old one, yeah. It was all experimental. But the new ones I can do in, in um, computation, yes. Yes. 
when you write your new grant, how are you going to incorporate some of the old information into it? No, I was, I was, I was looking for funding from um, alternative source, so sources, not from federal, not from the old ones, not from NIH. NIH, I don't have anything for NIH yet. No ideas. Ah. Maybe for, for military or NSF, which is kind of by basic science grants or some foundations, which... Um, Perhaps that would be more effective. The grant opportunities would not be as great, but perhaps private funding would be more acceptable to your ideas. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Is it everything? Uh, let's let's talk about the global economy. It is very unsettling looking at your global economy. However, some small changes are being made to correct the situations, but they are far too small at this point to make any difference. They will have to gain greater acceptance and quickly. Do you still expect a breakdown in 27? <laughs> It will happen sooner now. Oh, wow. We do not believe your economy can last till 2027 due to recent, within the last six to eight months, decisions that have been made by United States and by Russian officials. So what's your estimate? 2020. I see. <clears throat> Perhaps between 2020 and 2023, but no later than that. So how bad would be the crisis? At this point, it would have to be rather severe. The earlier, the more severe. What would be your involvement in the crisis? What would be our what? Your involvement in the crisis. We have set some things into effect many years ago, and we are waiting to see if it comes to fruition the way it is supposed to come. This is our interaction. We cannot do anything else until we see some growth in what we have started. I see. Uh, should we expect any other outside uh, influences during and after the crisis? It would appear that there are other species that are willing to help, but they are not permitted by galactic governments. Mm -hmm. But they will help if necessary, in emergency times with permission from the galactic governments. Now, in order for this timeline to continue, which we see that it should, things will change rather quickly at some point. We are waiting for this change Perhaps it will come after a cataclysm or some other kind of event. Do you expect um, the crisis to follow the contact with the aliens or precede the contact with the aliens? Proceed. So the crisis first and then we meet the aliens. It would have to be that way. They could not intercede before crisis events. ELE events are not often experienced 
on planets of your kind, but your planet has seen at least three ELE kind events in the past. I don't understand the words. What do you mean ELE? Elim an elimination level event. Which would mean the destruction of all things or all life. Um, but in your past, there has been such things on your planet. Yeah. The destruction of the dinosaur population, mm -hmm. the destruction of very early man, mm -hmm. and uh, the destruction when the earth flipped for the, uh, the last flip of the earth also was an ELE, but it was not a complete ELE. There were those that survived from it. Plants and animals. Mm -hmm. When you say ELE, is it abbreviation of something? Elimination level event. Oh, got it. <clears throat> All right, so how is it relevant to the crisis which we are going to have? Some have predicted that the crisis will be an ELE event, but we see that it will not be. Okay. But it will be of a high destructive nature. Oh, I see. Um, of course, the normal question, what should we do? There is not much you can do except for pray that it does not happen the way it is set up to happen at this time. But many prayers are going out to save you. Mm -hmm. There is not much you can do in the physical realm to stop it. Thank you. Uh, who would be most um, closely involved from outside of the, um, of the earth controlling and influencing the events? Listen carefully. The Mayan people are in charge of the ascension. They have been given that responsibility a long time ago, but it has been reinstated within the last century. However, there are those also, such as Gert Fichtnir, galactic governments and ourselves who look in uh, periodically or much more truthfully consistently on your planet and try to put ideas into some people's head for good decision making and not to bring about destructive overtones we are trying to preserve the planet with positive thought processes. Some of these thought processes have been successful. Not all attempts have been so. Got it. Uh, the last question is again a private question. Um, <clears throat> Mm. An alternative action for me would be to try to focus on book writing and hukul activities. Or would it be advisable? In terms of finances. I understand. They would not at this time bring you enough income to survive the way you are accustomed. They will bring in some income, and this is a positive thing. 
the grants or the the monies that you get from other places to support your tests and informational gathering are much more suitable. I think I got it. Um, I have another 20 minutes. I would like to invite maybe Mayans to speak about their role in Accension. Very well. I will bring them to you. Thank you very much for your uh, information. We are L.